Hello everyone, my name is Lanzo90 and welcome to my tutorial video on how to make sprays for TF2. Uh, this will also probably work for other Steam games, or Valve games that is, but uh, I haven't tested it for other games, but it does work for TF2. The two programs you'll need are Paint.net and VTF Edit. There are other programs you can use rather than Paint.net, but I think it's the easiest one to use. But uh, no matter which one of those you use, you do have to have ETF edit no matter what. And both these programs are free, by the way. And I'm going to put a link in the description so you guys can get to these. Let's start with paint.net. Go to File, Open, and select the picture you're going to use. In this case, I've selected the Aperture Science logo. Now, depending on your picture, there's going to be different steps you have to do. I specifically picked this this picture because uh, it's going to go over all the all the different steps that you'll probably encounter. So the first thing we need to know about sprays is they're always 256 by 256. They're a square picture with that many pixels. Uh, you'll see that this one is 1,192 wide and 670 tall. So uh, definitely not a 256. 256 by 256 cube. But uh, we'll, we'll fix all of that. The first thing we'll want to do is switch to this rectangular select tool. And the thing that I want to do first is I want to get rid of all this extra white space that we have on the side. So I'm going to use the rectangular select tool and start over here and drag it till we just have the picture within this box. Then I'm going to click this Crop to Selection button. Now I'm going to do the same thing to get rid of this extra white space on the other edges. Again, if your picture doesn't have white space like this, you don't have to do this step. Uh, crop. And the reason for doing this is uh, basically the more space that's being wasted with just white space, the smaller your text is going to be in game because we're going to have to resize all of this. So you want to try to maximize your profit, basically. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do with the specific picture is click on the magic wand and click anywhere in the white area. This will select all the white stuff and uh, will not select the letters. We're going to press the delete key. And you'll see that the white areas have been replaced with this checkerboard pattern. Uh, it's not actually a checkerboard. This just indicates that uh, there's nothing there. This is transparent or clear. And uh, this is so that when we put our spray into the game, instead of being on a white background, the background will be whatever surface we put it on. So if we put it on a brick wall, it'll look like a it'll have a brick wall behind it. But uh, we do need to do some little bit of quality control here because the spaces inside the letters were not selected. So we just do the same thing. Click them and press delete. Be careful not to click the black areas, just the clear areas. Okay. Next step, we click on image, resize, and uh, you'll have your width, width and height listed here. Whichever one is highest, change it to 256. If you have a square, they'll both come out to the same number. 256. You want to make sure that this is checked here. It does have to be checked. Maintain aspect ratio. This means when we, when we change this number to 256, this one automatically got changed to uh, be the correct proportion compared to what it used to look like. So click OK. It's OK that our height is not 256 yet. That's what we're going to fix next. So to do that, we click on New. We don't have to worry about this picture going away. It will stay here, 256 and 256. This time, you do not want to maintain the aspect ratio. Just make sure they're both 256. And click OK. You'll see that we can quickly go back and forth between these two pictures just by clicking them up there. Now, just uh, if you still have your wand tool selected, click it and press delete. Alternatively, you can 
go to edit, select all, and then press delete. Either way will work. Now go back to this picture, edit, select all. This time you do have to press the select all button instead of using the magic wand. And copy the picture. Go over to this one again. Click edit, paste onto new layer. And it is important that we paste onto a new layer and not just a regular paste. Now, you'll notice that it, it uh, pasted into the top portion of this picture. We want it to be in the center, just so that when we spray it, it will be where we pointed our crosshair at. So let's drag it down till it's roughly in the center. And uh, press the deselect key. And now we're ready to save it. So file, save as, find out where you want to save it at. Make sure you change the file type to PNG. You can save it as a couple different formats, but I know for a fact that PNG works. And uh, since I already was doing experimental videos for this, I've actually already have it saved, but just go ahead and save it wherever you can find it easily. Uh, you don't have to save the other picture. Now, we go to VTF Edit and click import and uh, you go find the picture that we uh, just made. We don't have to change any of this. You'll notice that uh, it now has a black background where anything was transparent. Uh, it's not actually going to be black. It's just uh, this is its way of saying that the background's transparent. Just like the paint.net made a checkerboard background, this one just gives a black one. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you can select it, 8-bit alpha format's a good thing to have checked here. And uh, also check antioscopic. Now file, save as. Now this is where it gets tricky. I will post a thing in the des description of how to get to this. But go to wherever you have Team Fortress 2 installed. Usually this will be the C drive, uh, program files 86. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, Materials, BGUI, Logos. Now I know that's a very long thing to try to remember, but I'm going to uh, copy the route into the description so you guys can easily find it. One thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make want to make a, uh, actually let's go back one step. Uh, right click on the logos folder and go to send to desktop to create a shortcut. Now we have the shortcut on our desktop that we can use to get to this destination a lot faster because we're going to have to do it a couple more times. Go here and this is where we're going to save it. I'm going to call it science. Save and close. Now this next step, sometimes you have to do it and sometimes you do not have to do it. When I tried to record this earlier, we did actually have to do it. So go to Logos. Uh, are we recording both my screens? That would be unfortunate. <laughs> I'll know how to fix that if that's happening. But, uh, well, I won't worry about it for now. So you'll see that my other spray I have here, Lord Helix, praise be on to him. There's two files here. There's a valve material file and a valve texture file. With our science thing we just made, all we have is the valve texture file. So if you have a spray already in here, just uh, copy the valve material file, the one that's only one kilobyte big, paste it, and rename it science. Or just rename it into the same name as the spray that we're making. Now open it and change change this little area here to whatever the file name for the text that, for the spray is. So science. Save. And now it will work. However, if you don't have a spray already, which is probably the case if you're watching this tutorial, we're gonna have to make it from scratch, and there's no easy way to do this. Well, there is, sort of. Open VTF Edit again, go to File, New, 
And now I'm going to put something into the description for you guys to copy and paste into here. We're going to have to copy this text. You can also type this out if you wanted to, but since I'm going to post it into the description, just copy this and paste it into here. And uh, same thing goes for here. You'll want to rename whatever this is to the name of the spray that you just made. And uh, file, save, and save it to the same place under the same name. It's going to be, this is going to pop up since I already did it, but it's not going to pop up for you guys. So I'm just going to click yes. And that will be that. So now, again, I'm not sure if my recording software is going to poop out on me or not for this part. So uh, there's a chance I'll have to come back and do this. But it will be should be fine on your screen. It might be black for a little bit. It seems like it's working, though. And I will assume that it's working. Go to Options, Multiplayer, Import Spray, and then we're going to go to that same destination again. TF, Materials, VGY, Logos, and we're going to click on our texture file, or our spray. Open, and now you'll see that it's displayed here. Click Apply. By the way, if it's not showing up there, that means that the that second step we had to do of making that second file, that means you have to do that or you did it wrong. Click OK, and now we're just going to test it on a random server. Uh, that one might be not working. Well, our servers are empty right now. Strange weapons, it's an achievement server. This one should be fine. Really hope the second monitor isn't recording. That would be uh, bad. I don't know how I don't know how to even do a dual monitor recording. But it says over in the corner like it's recording that screen. Oh well, I will find out. <laughs> okay. Doesn't matter what we are. Go up to the wall and press T. Hey, it worked. So that's all you have to do to make a spray. I'm sorry it's so complicated. It's the only way I know how to do it that's uh, quick. I've seen more complex ways to do it. Uh, there's probably a faster way, but uh, this is my way. And uh, once you make that little uh, shortcut onto the desktop, it'll be a little bit quicker. As soon as you have other text files ready to go, uh, you can just copy them. You won't have to, won't have to type it in manually or anything. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video and have a good day.